Like, you think life would be so much easier if I were that person. And I can turn into that person anytime I want to. And everyone pays attention when I'm this. Like, my colleagues, my boss, guys. But it, it feels like cheating because would they like me if I didn't have all of this? Like, if I was just Jen, would the same guys who like She-Hulk stick around for Jen? Because some of them don't. And that sucks for Jen, because Jen is great. And no one cares when they're She-Hulk. So, like, I meet this guy who actually likes Jen, and that just felt good to know that, you know? And then he ghosts me, and it sucks. All right, screw this guy. Where does he live? Let's kill him. That's right, he's got to die. Whoa, big man, please. No, man is correct. Josh has made an enemy of this entire group. Tonight, we ride! That's all. Awesome. Aaron, Monroe, you've been warned about using bioelectricity in group before. So, let's go find this Josh guy and suck out all his blood. Yes! Oh, no, 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 wait, guys, wait, wait! Jen is hurting, and all we can offer her is violence? Does anyone think they could speak to Jen's pain with the tools that we've learned in the group? Well, for one thing, I'd say you can't control what other people do. It hurts when someone rejects us because it reminds us of the times we reject ourselves. Now, She-Hulk basically shares her emotions and feelings with the other people who are sitting in the room and she confesses what she feels and uh, let her things out to the people and that makes fee uh, Jen feel better. 